Urbanization has a profound impact on existing natural and constructed drainage systems. Development typically results in an increased amount of impervious surfaces, such as roofs, streets, parking lots, and sidewalks. The consequences of these surface changes are numerous, but are primarily rooted in the fact that developed sites lose much of their natural stormwater storage capacity. The loss of vegetation, organic litter, and changes in surface characteristics such as roughness and perviousness results in the rapid conversion of rainfall to stormwater runoff. Often the increased rate and volume of runoff become too great for existing drainage systems to handle. In order to accommodate the increases, drainage systems are structurally altered through the use of curbs, gutters, channels and storm sewer pipes to direct and convey runoff away from developed areas. There are several environmental impacts that may result from changes in the storm drainage pattern. These include increased flood potential due to increases in peak flow rates, decreased groundwater supply caused by reduced infiltration, increased soil erosion and sedimentation brought about by greater runoff volumes and velocities, increased petrochemical pollution from street and highway runoff, and the contamination of winter runoff by salt and sand in colder regions. Addressing these and other issues in the design and implementation phases will result in a more environmentally responsive management system. Hydrologic changes. There are a variety of changes in stream hydrology that result from development. Peak discharges, which can be as much as two to five times the pre-development rate, generally increase the frequency and severity of flooding. Development that had once been considered above flood level may become subject to flood damage. In addition to increased rates of runoff, the volume of runoff may be increased as a result of reduced infiltration and stormwater storage capacity. Higher runoff velocities, which also reduce the time it takes the peak discharge to reach a stream or drainage channel, result from smoother surfaces, such as pavements, which create less friction to slow runoff flow. Increased velocities and or shorter overland travel times also provide less opportunity for infiltration. Higher velocities coupled with increased imperviousness may also result in reduced stream flow during extended dry periods caused by reduced infiltration. Groundwater that would normally be recharged during wet periods and released slowly from soil during dry periods is lost as surface runoff. Stream geometry also changes. Streams are widened due to increased volume and velocity, which results in increased stream bank erosion. Usually the stream bank is undercut, destabilizing vegetation and in turn exacerbating the erosion problem. Eroded material is deposited in stream channels as sediment, which reduces stream flow capacity. Flood elevations are raised as noted. This phenomenon increases the extent of the area at risk of flood damage. The quality of stormwater is also degraded as a result of development. Pollutants are accumulated on paved surfaces and are flushed from these surfaces during a rainstorm. Not only do developed or urbanized landscapes increase the ease with which pollutants can be collected and concentrated, but they also increase their sources. Contaminants may be released through corrosion, decay, oil and fuel leaks, leaching or wearing away of construction materials and coatings, brake linings, tires and catalytic converters. Developed areas, as well as agricultural areas, contribute herbicides, pesticides, and fertilizers, which stimulate algae growth and reduce the availability of oxygen in water. Fallen leaves and animal droppings that would normally decompose in undeveloped or low-density settings are more easily washed from paved surfaces 
further increasing nutrient and bacteria levels in streams, ponds, and lakes. Changes in stream hydrology and geometry combined with reduced water quality decrease the value of aquatic, stream bank, and floodplain habitats. Stream channels and flows are altered and pollution levels are raised, problems that are further exacerbated by low summer flows and higher water temperatures. Music